There are many other differences between my views and Senator Obama's. I favor lower taxes, less government spending, less federal bureaucracy. Senator Obama has clearly stated his preference for raising the tax burden on Americans, increasing government spending, and giving the government more authority over the lives of American families and businesses. We have differences on health care. I prefer to give American families more control over their health care decisions. Senator Obama would prefer the government exercise greater control. Senator Obama would meet unconditionally with some of the world's worst dictators and state sponsors of terrorists. I would not add to the prestige of those who support violent extremists or seek to destroy our allies. Earlier today, earlier today, Senator Obama made a few remarks I'd like to respond to. I welcome a debate about protecting America. No issue is more important. Senator Obama claimed all I had to offer was the, quote, naive and irresponsible belief that tough talk would cause Iran to give up its nuclear program. He should have known better. I have some news for Senator Obama. Talking, not even with soaring rhetoric, unconditional, in, in, in unconditional meetings with a man who calls Israel a stinking corpse and arms terrorists who kill Americans will not convince Iran to give up its nuclear program. It is reckless. It is reckless to suggest that unconditional meetings will advance our interests. You know, it would be a wonderful thing if we lived in a world where we don't have enemies, but that's not the world we live in. And until Senator Obama understands that reality, the American people have every reason to doubt whether he has the strength, judgment, and determination to keep us safe. But I'd like to close my...